a map of Europe drawn from memory. And this has easily got to be the best memory I've ever seen. Literally perfect detail. Talk about like really understanding the continent. We got Brittany, France. We got a perfect Iberia and Italian peninsula with the boot and all. Got some islands in Crimea. Man, this is just one of those posts where it's like I, I start feeling bad about my own memory. It's never going to be this great. Map of the United States if it was colonized by Great Britain. Something tells me most of the population would be on the east coast and it would be in Elizabeth, New South Cornwall and Kingsland. Clearly Britain gets pretty unoriginal with these states out here, just the Southern American, Northern Territory and Western America. It's like they didn't even try. Could you imagine if there was a country on earth that really had states drawn like this? Like I understand this post was made for comedic purposes, but it's just so unrealistic. Danger presented by Ohio. In the red, you are in Ohio. In the orange or if you border Ohio, there could be an invasion at any time. States like Virginia, Georgia, Missouri, you are not safe. Yellow states like Texas, Florida, or North Dakota, there's still time to hug your loved ones. And then finally, there are all the states in gray that are just in the illusion of safety. Those old It's All Ohio memes weren't actually just memes. It was really a leaked invasion plan. Afghanistan is just bold italic Germany. <laughs> Where do you guys even come up with this stuff? The problem is, I see it. I literally see it. It really is a bigger, just kind of more to the right Germany. How long was the Illuminati going to go without showing us this? Were it not for Chile, Argentina, Sierra Leone, Guinea, Mauritania, Algeria, Tunisia, Malta, Albania, Greece, Macedonia, Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, China, and North Korea, you'd be able to swim in a straight line from Japan to South Korea. That is literally one of the bane of my existence, the fact that I can't swim in a straight line between these two countries if only somehow all of these nations just disappeared then maybe just maybe I could finally be happy what's the point of even living if I can't do this the map if only Democrats voted versus the map if only Republicans voted wait what happened to Alaska and Hawaii from the Dem did the Democrats just eliminate those two I'm very confused about this is this some sort of subliminal messaging if only Democrats voted Alaska and Hawaii would simply cease to exist now you know the truth the Pangea truth. We are actually just living in a dinosaur. Makes me kind of depressed that literally everybody kind of figured out about like plate tectonics and movement. Everyone connected that these two continents were together. I wasn't special. A map of a divided Germany, except they moved Berlin and put it someplace that makes more sense. Can't argue with that logic. This literally does make a whole lot more sense. I'm actually afraid to admit that this is what I actually thought. I thought Berlin was here and I thought this is what it looked like. I mean, come on. This literally doesn't even look like it makes sense. Sense. Who puts Berlin in East Germany like this? Really? Where is Patrick Starr when you need him? In the green, we have countries visited by foreigners. And that's it. This, that's the full map. You might be surprised that the Great Lakes are a country. Well, now you know. I have no idea what cartoon show this is, but we really need to get in contact with the animators. In Asia, Europe, and even Africa, what are you looking at, my dude? What even is this? I swear, sometimes I feel like it's a favorite pastime of cartoonists to just draw the worst world map imaginable. I mean, I guess that's kind of their job to emphasize and de-emphasize things, but still, there's no way they could have predicted what kind of map nerds would come out in the future. I do enjoy Blob America with just a random Cuba and Panama is gone. You get some credit for not including New Zealand, but I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Is that supposed to be India or Indochina? <laughs> and then this Euro. We are America and Canada is North America. This isn't hard. It is literally south of America. We are America and Canada is North America. I really can't tell if this is some sort of 500 IQ play or if we really do exist with somebody that actually thinks this. So Canada is North America and then just every, like Latin America is just South America. I think this person hasn't gotten enough rage comments yet, clearly. The areas in red and the areas in blue, believe it or not, have the same population. I know that's shocking because it seems like, wow, there's a lot of red here. But then you look over this way and you're like, oh, there's not that much blue. But then you forget, yeah, people actually live in cities and population density is a weird thing. So yeah, red and blue equals the same amount of people. That's crazy. I feel very bad for anyone that is slightly colorblind. Is it even possible to watch my channel if you're colorblind? Oh, I guess it actually is, but it can be quite the task. This is what the map is, and then depending on what type of colorblindness you suffer from, uh, these are the results of 
what you might see. I swear, I think I'm red weak sometimes. So often in videos, I'm like, this color is yellow. And people are like, that's not yellow. That's orange or some weird thing. I don't know. I have a lot of problems. I don't want to deal with more. Europeans were asked to label Colorado on a map. I don't know if this is real. I'm pretty sure this is like um, a poop post based off of the asking Americans, where is Iran on a map? But I do want to kind of unironically do this. Like, I know Europeans tend to know geography a bit better than us. But do they know our obscure states? Would they be able to figure out like where Wyoming is? Ah, uh, yes. More Australian state slander. This is what I needed. Who or what Australia's states and territories are named after? In blue, we have the region named after Queen Victoria. In red, we have just where it is. Western Australia, Northern Australia, South Australia. In yellow, we just have why it is. It's basically just the Washington, D.C. of America, right? In purple, we have the first white bloke that spotted Tasmania. Wait, there's a, actually a man named Tasmania? I forgot to label this part that was also blue. That's named after Queen Victoria as well, or at least what is considered her land, that is. And then finally, in green, the area of Britain that the first white bloke to spot it thought it looked like. Ah, yes. New South Wales. What a name. I'm so glad we are finally talking about this, because I've had this subject in the back of my mind for a while. I just didn't want to seem like a crazy person. Not that the USA is any better. I mean, we were slapping new or south or north or west in front of a lot of our states. Man, Australia, gotta admit, this is impressive. I think this is actually better than just the Washington, D.C. of Australia. It's just the Australia in capital territory. In the blue, we have the countries a part of the EU, and in the red, we have the countries a part of Rope. And of course, coming together, these countries all form Europe. Gotta admit, even as a geography nerd, this is the first time I've heard about Rope. This looks like a pretty strong economic or military alliance. I'm not even sure what it is. You got all the city-states in here, so that's pretty impressive. Is it even possible to defeat anything with the power of Switzerland, the UK, and Norway? And don't forget about the strength of Iceland's volcano. Then all the while, you have all the powers out here in the east. I don't know. I actually kind of want to see this battle royale play out. I'm gonna have to write this down for the Drew Woo channel. You should subscribe over there. I'm just saying. Countries which I am now on a government watch list in. Pretty fascinating stuff if I do say so. That is actually pretty chat of you. Not sure exactly if this man is on a watch list in Greenland or North Korea, but it's possible. It's kind of my goal in life is just to be on the watch list of some country out there. Actually, unironically, I could be. I've got a lot of weird metadata behind my name and countries and things that I, I've said. Oh, and all the war crimes I did probably doesn't help. Malaysia versus the U.S. flag, meaning and how they're different, because they are kind of similar. In red, they both represent hardness and valor. The white is supposed to be purity and innocence. For blue in Malaysia, that's supposed to represent unity. That's not the way we roll in the USA. And in yellow, not losing... Oh, yeah, we, we don't get to put the yellow in our flag, I, I see now. Eating pho in Malaysia will never be the same again. Well, I'm really glad that we finally got to the bottom of this. There is calling Holland... Holland, not accurate, but okay. Calling the Netherlands the Netherlands, now that's a little bit better. Or finally, just referring to them as the Dutch Republic. Wait a second, don't you guys have a monarchy? Yeah, here he is, the king of the Netherlands. What the heck? Also, it says informally I can refer to them as Holland on Wikipedia, but whenever I do that, there's always fire that starts in the comment section. The F is going on in Alexander Island. That doesn't even look like an island, Antarctica. Who taught you to name this Alexander? Island. Alright, and also, how did we get a Google... What? Is this... Did someone find a way out of the Matrix? Is this what the Flat Earth people were talking about? This looks like the place Matthew McConaughey went to at the end of Interstellar. I've never wanted to go to this continent more in my life. Maybe this is how you enter the back rooms. Map of US states where slavery is still legal. In gray, we have slavery is legal. Interesting that it seems like it is not legal in any of the states. And I'm specifically looking at you guys down here. I'm glad this map finally got updated after like 150 years. If it weren't for my lack of motivation, I could literally walk in a perfectly straight line across the street. Now this is finally the riveting content that I've been looking for. I don't know what I want to do more, swim in a perfectly straight line across from Japan to South Korea or maybe walk across the street. If it weren't for- yeah, I'm not gonna keep doing this, let's just move on. Some dummy sent me this map of Africa, he tried to draw from memory. Why is there a lake here? Did you really put the Suez Canal on the wrong side of the continent? Why is Lake Victoria so small? It's a massive lake in the continent, that's true. The Great Rift Valley is in the east, not in the west, dummy. 
Is this supposed to be Madagascar? You realize literally nobody would care about it if it was this small, right? Why did you swap the Horn of Africa and South Africa? That makes no sense. This guy clearly just needs to stop. Never draw maps from memory again. Not only does the Nile flow sideways, but it also just comes from nowhere instead of Lake Victoria? I'll give you credit for this one. At least you didn't forget Cape Verde. <laughs> I mean, I want to say that you pretty much have no hope, like leave the geography community immediately, but you did save yourself with that last one, so just maybe work harder next time. If it weren't for Italy, you could literally- don't care. Who needs 50 European countries when you could literally just have six? Call all this the Mediterranean or budget Roman Empire? Down here in green, which isn't even European, we have the Ottoman uh, Carthage Empire, but because of a budget Roman Empire, they needed an arch enemy, yeah that makes sense. A Balkan Union is is that even possible? This is probably the most unrealistic thing. The Northern Republic, Brits and Vikings getting along. Don't forget about the Polish, Lithuanian, Prussian, Baltic, Dutch, Swiss, Czechoslovakian, Austria, Hungary Union. This is actually the least diverse place on the map. And then Ukraine. That one makes sense. It would help me a lot whenever I tried to draw this continent from memory again. So maybe we could just do this. I mean, who cares about the consequences? Also, Estonia finally can into Northern Europe. Most popular Gen 1 starter Pokemon by state. But I did absolutely no research and just made it up as I went. I'm actually a little disappointed that this isn't a real post because I was going to be really curious but let's be honest it probably wouldn't be this interesting of a map pretty sure everyone's just probably choosing Charmander I'd assume Bulbasaur would be at the bottom of the list I guess we could try to figure that out yep using Google Trends and I was absolutely right I figured it wasn't going to be that interesting and it goes exactly in the order that I thought Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur why can't the states be different why can't you just choose different stuff South Dakota has been the most interested in Squirtle though and Oregon in Bulbasaur oh they would Oregon's green, Leaf Pokemon, Cascadia, that works well. Oregon should be forced to always go Bulbasaur. That was literally a top comment. What is the chance of that? The most boring map on the planet. This is a real life map of Kansas County borders. Are we really sure about this? I'm pretty sure there's another couple square states that pretty much have this same thing going on. Kansas, why can't you put some more squiggly lines? You did like two or three. Your quota should have at least been five. Oh, okay. Actually, I think Iowa might be worse. That river is the only thing that is keeping them interesting. Density of popes per one square kilometer in the Vatican. Wait, this is the first time I hear about this. That's quite the population density. You can, in fact, actually swim in a straight line between France and the Netherlands. Right here on St. Martin in the Caribbean Sea. Gotta admit though, this is probably the least plausible. I mean, that's quite the swim. You'd have to be probably one of the greatest swimmers of all time. Now, the swim from Japan to South Korea, that's a lot more doable. The face of the world's largest beaver statue has been blurred. It is with great regret that I had to inform you guys this. We live in a society. What if we just just take the Mediterranean Sea and pushed it somewhere else. Or did you actually swap it with the Sahara Desert? What happens to all this? I'm pretty sure like all of uh, like UK and the Nordic lands, I'm pretty sure they are barren wastelands at this point, right? I don't know. I'm not a weather person, climate person. I thought that the only reason why you can live in this high up of uh, latitude is because the Mediterranean- I'm not sure, I don't know, I'm gonna move on. A map of Great Britain if they had the exact same imperial borders as Japan. That's so weird because this looks like the exact same borders as Imperial Japan. So you're telling me that if Britain had the exact same borders as Imperial Japan, it would look just like Imperial Japan? Did you know Portugal is the only Spanish province that speaks Brazilian. Wow, this is incredible. This is one of those images you just want to send to all your Portuguese friends because they're gonna love it. Zones of tensions. We have Africanized honeybees versus European honeybees. Everyone thinks World War III is gonna begin in Europe. I don't think so. You know what? Frick you. Unports your Portugal. They must now legally be named No Portugal. It's about damn time someone stopped them. Centuries into the future, people are gonna be wondering why this random Spanish province speaks Brazilian. I'm in shape. Unfortunately, that shape is reunified Germany. Oh, what a twist. Yeah, minions, believe it or not, are not fans of reunified Germany. You know, since they're forced to serve the most evil man at the time, they'd much rather prefer these. The Austrian province of Little Osterreich, I think that's how you say that, is basically just a mini Austria. That is literally the cutest province I have ever seen. I didn't even know you could have adorable states or provinces. Name a cuter border. I'll wait. I'm pretty sure this is just some sort of glitch. You can't actually go there. You just keep going to a smaller dimension. And big thing. Thanks to By saying this, I agree to be a sussy bucka ooh Luxembourg lover. Drew's Argentinian fat grandpa. nuts. Alex Whitley is mega chat. Alfonso M6. A fat Angel Sono. Barnsky Bring W. Back Poland Ball. He he XD. Jocko Brudy. Majestic Unicorn. Marco Hindera. Max Cooper. Mimo Shiki. Philip R.F. Robert E. Rye the, the Pie. The Mexican 760. Why am I doing this? William the Conqueror. Thank you.